Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Sam. I'm going to try something a little bit special today and you guys will tell me if you like it or not. I'm going to do what I'm calling design in a day. After the last project, a lot of you asked me how long does it actually take to make a project from scratch and things like the magic wand might take a month work or the smartwatch might have taken three months. But today I want to try and design an entire project in one day. If you like this, let me know in the comments below and I'd like to make this like a monthly cadence, like do this every month. And maybe, just maybe, I'll let you guys pick the project in the future. All the projects will be open source just like everything else, so all the files will be available for everyone around the world for free, no questions asked. Today, we're gonna do a Settlers of Catan board that's made out of plywood, I think, with some electronics built in. So we'll go through the 3D modeling and all that kind of stuff, as well as all the electronics design today. There's a camera here that I'm talking to right now. That's you. Right there is a GoPro. And, <laughs> and it's just gonna be filming a time-lapse of everything going on all day long. So at the end of it all, I'll kind of mash it all together and create one big video. I will probably throw in a couple uh, chunks of like screen shares and things like that so you guys can see what I'm actually doing. I think the goal right now is I want this big beautiful hex board that is just kind of the standard Settlers of Catan island. What I'd like to do is each of these individual hexes, I think I want an outer ring of like light and so I want the whole thing to be like a nice pretty wood and I want this outer ring to show the color of the commodity so like green for wood or red for brick. I'm gonna make these hexes that are about this size and I think I'm gonna put a circuit board with some LEDs inside of it, cover it with some acrylic. So I think that's where we're going. And if that's the case, I'm gonna make this first hex. I'll show you how I make it all. I'm gonna put a little kind of like, like cutout in it around the interior and that's where the circuit board and the acrylic will go. Let's get going. All right, so I have a general shape. It looks like a hexagon with like a little tray uh, cut out around the interior. I think I generally like it. I may tweak some of the dimensions later. We'll see how it plays out. The next thing that I want to do is I need to, I want to add little cutouts for little roads and cities and settlements and things. When you put them down, I don't want them to just be sitting on top of the board. I want them to kind of sit in there. Fusion 360 crashed. I'm just waiting for it to open back up. The next thing we have to think about is if we're all these circuit boards in there, I'm gonna use these addressable LEDs. And what they are is they're basically just little lights, but you can target a specific one. You can say, I wanna to talk to this particular light and not that. And the way they work is like, they, they kind of hold hands with each other. LED one says, hey, I'm LED one. And then it holds hands with LED two and that holds hands with LED three and so on. Because it's all sequential, they all have to be connected. One to two to two to three to three to four and so on. And so I'm thinking about putting three of these LEDs in each hex. But that means that I have to connect LED 1 to 2 to 3. I have to go out of that hex into another hex to connect to 4 to 5 to 6 and, and go all the way around. And there's going to be 57 LEDs total. I have to pop out from one hex to another hex. And because of that, I need to put a hole all the way through so that I can you know, feed some wires out to the next hex. And then we're going to start duplicating it. So just making copies of this. Boop, 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 boop. And we're going to line them all up create this big board. We'll see where it goes from there. So we've duplicated everything and it starts to look like a real board, which is kind of cool. Um, I think the next step now is I want to add a little bit of a border around it so that there's like some water hexes. Um, so I'm going to add that little bit of a border and then I think this is in an okay place. I may come back to it once we jump into the circuit board stuff. We'll see what happens, but start here. Let's see where this takes us. So I think the board's done. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of like texture and color and stuff to the, to the computer render just to make it 
feel a little bit more real to me, but this is totally just an extra step that you don't normally need to do. I may also just round the corners of the bigger board just a little bit, just to make it a little bit tidier and keep with some of the inner radiuses, um, radii on some of the stuff that I've done before. But again, just purely cosmetic at this point. First hiccup of the day. I built the whole board and I forgot to include a little lip for the acrylic to rest on. I'm gonna have these acrylic inserts that I'm gonna push in and glue into place. But as of right now, there's no place for those inserts to go. I'm gonna hopefully backtrack into history enough that I can just like include a little lip. We'll see how it plays out. I think the board is mostly ready to roll. I'm gonna go ahead and kick off the circuit board stuff just so we can kind of start putting those into the, the, the 3D models and stuff and see where that takes us. I'm gonna try something new this time. So normally when I do circuit boards and things like that, I'll like design the files, I'll just get something back that's like this, that has like this, that has no parts or anything. Like and then I will go and I'll place all the parts by hand. This time it's a lot of things to put down by hand, especially if I'm doing I want to do more than one set. There's another company that does like cheap circuit boards and they'll just put the parts down for you and send you the boards. And I may actually give them a go for this and see how it works out. So one thing about this new service is they will do assembly for me, but they only have a select number of parts. So I have to use the parts that they want to use, not the ones that I would normally use. I'll use their parts instead. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this project. We're gonna kind of create the structure of it all. And then we can start putting stuff on it and see where that takes us. I am set up, have my board shape, uh, the circuit board shape. And what I did is I just took the design that I made in Fusion 360, like the 3D model. And I sucked it out, plopped it into this uh, circuit board design program. What I'm gonna do next is I'm actually gonna try and do a screen share of um, JLC PCB, which is the company that I'm gonna use to do the assembly and stuff. And we can kind of search through some of the parts that they have and maybe from there we can figure out what parts to use on this board. Some of you may have heard that there's this global silicon shortage going on. And those of you that haven't heard about it, basically what happened is when the pandemic started, all of the places that actually make little chips and everything, they stopped making them. It's finally starting to catch up with us in the world. So you probably, you may have heard that like, you know, some of the big auto manufacturers can't get the chips they need. So one of the things that I always try and do when I'm looking at new parts is I try and see how many parts are actually in stock. In other words, can I actually buy these parts? The part that I'm looking at right now is in stock at JLC PCB, which is great. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that and I will go ahead and drop that into the circuit. So. Hopping back over. For some reason, when I'm doing the board design, it doesn't like when I'm screen recording at the same time, it like is consuming too much RAM or something on my computer, I don't know. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like do a little bit of work and then I'll like screen record and show you kind of what I did. And then I'll do a little bit of work and I'll show you what I did. It's not gonna be as fluid as the other one was, but hopefully it'll give you a, at least a good picture. Maybe I can figure out later what's going on with this, this screen recording. finished designing the LED. I'm going to now take the 3D model of the LED board. I'm going to import it back into the 3D modeling program that I was using before so we can take a look and see how it all kind of plays together. Then the last thing that I need to do is I need to think through what's going to control the LED boards. I'm thinking that I want to have some way for like when you roll the dice a certain commodity is going to glow right so like if you roll a six 
everything that would be a six on the board will glow a little bit brighter and everything else will, will dim a little bit more. So it's like very easy to see. I'm gonna move this back over into the CAD. I'm gonna bring you guys into that so you can see that process. And we're, we're doing really well on time. We're about, I think we're about two and a half hours into this project so far. We have 3D models for the whole board. We have LED boards ready to go. Um, and I think all that's left is the like the main like brain uh, of the whole thing. And then we can just ship it and call it a day. And then I can spend forever editing this video. And it's gonna be great. <laughs>
All right, I think it's all done. I'm gonna go ahead and ship the files tonight and then I'll do a second video on the build in two, three weeks or whatever, whenever the parts come in. What I'm thinking about doing, and I would love to hear your comments below, is if you have an idea that you want me to try and design in one day, let me know. And I think what I'll do is maybe every month, maybe we'll say it's like the, the first or second weekend of every month, I'll do a design in one day type of thing. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you are not. If you want to follow me on Instagram and see kind of other little updates along the way, uh, my Instagram handle is at Samson March. Last thing, if you really want to support this kind of stuff in the future, I do have a Patreon, which I will link down below. Yeah, I hope you had a good time watching this. I hope it wasn't too long and boring. I had a lot of fun doing it. This is kind of what the design process looks like normally. And yeah, start making things yesterday.